Command has been given. Crank him up. Let's go. When I say I don't know, I don't know. Let's go, baby. Now, the morning drive. Buckle up, everybody. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's a game changer. I listen to you guys every single day on my way to work. Well, again, I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on the radio. You guys are amazing. What are you doing over there? I'm going to the top. The morning drive with Mike Bagley and Pete Pistoni. To the bat balls. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio on Channel 90, live and on the air for this Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. Mike Bagley here in Del Marvelous, Studio 1D. We've got Pistol Pete Pistone in the Paisan Palace in Chicago. We've got Sammy and Davey in Studio 134 of the Beltway Bureau in our nation's capital. We welcome each and every one of you to this Wednesday morning, and happy hump day to you, Triple P. Good morning, Bagman. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday to one and all. We are halfway home on the week, and we welcome in a brand new month. Happy March 1st, 2023, everybody. Spring is, well, it hasn't sprung yet, but I think it's going to spring at some point. Usually does. It, yes, it yeah. always does. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it is the beginning of meteorologi- meteorological spring. I can't say the word. That's why I didn't try. <laughs> um, today. Yeah. And uh, they've been saying right here, it's coming in like a lamb. However, we've been greeted this morning with a phenomenon that I don't think I've ever lived through. We have freezing fog here this fog. morning. That's not Everything pretty. is frozen over, and I, I, we weren't expecting this. So we've got a little icy glaze to us. And by the way, icy glaze was my name when I was a baker in Poughkeepsie. Greg, I didn't know you were a baker. In can Poughkeepsie. you like? Can you touch the? F- I know it sounds stupid, but like, can you feel the freezing fog? Like, how does it? Like well, if I've you, not been outside to cavort in it, but what happens can is, you? it's there, and then. Take a microphone. It just comes in contact and freezes in. It hits. Yeah. Whatever it comes in contact just, with. Just go take a walk outside real quick and tell me how cold you Including get. Including the road. <laughs> it's hard to drive in. I've driven in freezing frog, frog, freezing frog on Meteorological Monday. I believe that happened in uh, Egypt one time, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> They're coming out of the skies. Let my people go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the whole in like a lamb, out like a lion thing. So I don't know how I should say it. So today it's going to be 60 here in Chicago, right? So that's lamb-like. But then on uh, Friday, rather, we're getting a winter storm. Boy, that didn't take long for that lamb to get swallowed up by the lion. Sheesh. Well, I, I think when, when they say out like a lion, they're talking about like later on. Well, okay. Not this week. But the lamb didn't last very long. <laughs> didn't well, last listen, as long. Maybe the lions love a good uh, rack of lamb. <laughs> Who doesn't? I love lamb. <laughs> Me. I oh, hate lamb. No. Oh, a nice lamb chop if it's cooked correctly. I like that. Oh. No. no, I had a good lamb kebab on uh, on Sunday Saturday night. Good stuff, Backy. There's a place here. It's a mm. it's like a it's like Persian Lebanese food, but it's 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 just no meat, shot. It's meat skewers essentially is is, is what they do. Get that so mint jelly good. too. It doesn't uh. have to be lamb. It can be beef. It can be chicken. Sure. Uh, oh, son, they they got some good stuff and they got rice in there. It's some of the best rice I've ever eaten in my entire life with like raisins in it. Man, if I knew you could put raisins in rice, I'd been eating raisin rice all day long. Petey, it's what? good. They were taking shreds of a, like orange zest in the rice too hmm. to give it like a freshness. Oh, man. It's back. I understand it. It doesn't sound. It sounds a little crazy. They I actually, love a kebab. Yes, but no lamb. Okay, but you can get you can get lamb. non-lamb kebabs at this place. Next time you come up here, maybe this will be a fun a fun adventurous place for us to go to because they've also got some stuff there that's like a they had essentially like what was essentially a, the 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 chili from uh, Skyline. A, v- a very much nicer version of that, but it had a lot of cinnamon in it. And that's what it reminded you of is like the the Cincinnati sweet. chili. It yeah. was che- it was it was sweet. And it was oh so good though, and they had French fries on top of it. Bagman, I think you could get down on that. Holy cow! Yeah, like it's some. They I'm got some pretty, They got some pretty good you, food out there. Good eating. Keep the raisins in the rice. I don't need raisins in the rice, but there, is, there it sounds like that there are options. There. Well, I have raisin in so, your brand. Now I'll take raisins in my brand. I just don't want raisins in my rice. I love a kebab. That's what I'm going to say. Baggy loves a kebab. Didn't know that about you all these years. Who knew? Bagman loved the kebab. I right. do. Nothing wrong with a good kebab. But see, to me, I now, like the a kebab. onions and the peppers have to be cooked appropriately. I don't want yeah, to raw. Agreed. Yes. A little bit of a crunch, mm-hmm. but also like a little, a little burnt. No, just not burned like in like charred, but 
Right. Cooked. That, sure. You know they've been on the grill. Vidalia? Or how do you prefer? What, what onion do you prefer in a kebab, though? White, Vidalia, uh, sweet? Like sweet. What? Yeah. I like sweet. I like sweet. Sweet onions are good. I love yeah. sweet onions. I like a good red onion. Tori hates onions. She hates onions, so I can't really well, cook with them that often, but like when I can get a nice <laughs> raw red onion on a, san- on a sandwich, oh. Well, when you, when you saute a red onion, it starts as bitter, but it ends as sweet. You yes. bring out the sweetness in the red onion when you saute it. And that's why a lot of recipes will call for a red onion of all the three or four that you could choose from. Yeah. Um, it's all about knowing the right onion. It's all about knowing the right potato. I made air fryer french fries last night. Oh, yeah. You uh, threatened that. Or you mentioned that at the end of the show right. yesterday. <laughs> how'd, well, they, how'd they go? Did you do it? How was it? it, it yeah. Um, matter of fact... Uh, there is photographic evidence. <laughs> and hang on. Let's see here. There you go. I'll send it to the three of you. So what you do is, and I went light on the um, on the potato count. I only did one russet. But you, because people are like, well, what oh. onion or what potatoes do you use? Steak oh, that fries. That good. Steak fries. Russet yeah. potatoes. And you yeah. can cut them in any thickness. That was good. So I left the skin on because there's some nutritional value in the skin on a potato. Matter of fact, if you ever eat with me out and I have a baked potato, that skin's getting eaten, uh, and that that's safe for last. That's the best part of the whole thing. Anyway, I digress. So what you do is you take a russet, wash it real good, get your little brush out, cut it in half, lay the flat end on the cutting board, cut that in half, and then you just cut. You can do them in diagonal. You can cut them any way you want them. And then you, um, what I did is I, I uh, tossed mine in olive oil and red robin seasoning. Mm, that's I good. love their Yum. seasoning on their steak fries. Yum. Put them in the air fryer, 10 minutes, then do a little toss, finish them off for about another 10 or 11, and you've got crunchy homemade fries. Do you increase your... My potato! Do you no, increase no. your temp at all, like to get a little bit more crisp at crisp. the end? Some, nope. Sometimes I'll do in the, the air I'll do fryer. Th- mine's top and bottom. Mm-hmm. I do 390. So I get it from both ends. Yeah. Um, I don't have the one that you pull out, and it's just a top heat deal. <laughs> My, I've got the top, the top and bottom, too. I'll just go with, like, I'll put them in there for, like, 20 minutes, like how mm-hmm. you do it. And then to finish them off, like, the last two, I'll up it mm-hmm. from, like, 390 to, like, four, like 425, a little 450, get a, so it gets, like, a real, I like a more crunchy fry. So I like well, to get that, that golden crunch on there if I can. I left out the most important part of the process, and this is key when you're doing this in your air fryer. Ketchup. After you cut, a- after you cut your potatoes, you soak them in cold water for as much as twenty four hours. Yes, I soaked mine for four. Like at one o'clock is when I started cutting them and soaking them, and just so- soak them in cold water. Um, and the more you do that, it pulls the starch out of the potato. And I've also seen people that when you put the olive oil in, you also put a little baking soda in there. That does the crispiness too. That's how you cook chicken wings. You put baking soda in chicken wings. You never know it's there, but it makes them more crispy. So, listen, more than a hat rack, Sammy. More than a hat rack, Sammy. I never said that it wasn't. It was. Sorry. No, I, both. I don't know. It's, look, I love the air fryer. I love kebabs. Okay, go ahead. The air fryer has, has been a, a, a massive, a massively Huge. good addition to, to mm-hmm. our kitchen. Our problem is the one that we got was that we got for Christmas has the knobs and not mm-hmm. buttons that like you press like oh, I want to increase the temperature, I'll just hit the up button. Ours has knobs to it, and the knobs are kind of going a little wonky. And so, like, you got to spin it ever so, like, you got to either give, like, a big spin and get hope you get lucky, you know, no whammies, or you're like, because there's, like, 12 different, <laughs> there's like 12 no different whammies, settings no on it. And so you got to, like, get it just right to click it down. It's kind of a, a process. So that if, if anyone's out there looking for an air fryer, get the one with the buttons oh. on it that you press oh. up. Don't get the one with the dials because they kind of get a little crappy after a while. I thought you were well, reselling I yours. I can <laughs> if you want to take it off my hands for a buck fifty. It's clean. 866 Fit Lane. Sammy's got one for you. I uh, I have two. I have the one that is the big one that folds down and that you pull the like the searing tray out and all that stuff. And then I have one that is the you twist on the pressure cooker and you you can pressure cook and you can also air fry in that. But they are one of the best inventions ever in the history. You do so much different stuff in those things. It's like I'm on those Facebook videos where, you know, air fryer tip 105. Mm-hmm, and then how to cook cinnamon rolls in there and all that stuff. It's it's pretty cool. So pretty talked, awesome. Who, I, who'd have thunk it? I talked about buying one right last week. Well, what happens over the weekend? The main oven in the kitchen, which is original since we moved in here, 
starting to go on the fritz. Is it a confection? I thought, that that was, I thought that you replaced it when you remodeled the kitchen. That was the only thing we didn't replace when we remodeled the kitchen because it was still good and it fit the decor and all that kind of thing. So sure enough, the other day she goes to warm something up and the oven's not lighting. So, okay, well, let's go look at ovens just to see. Well, now the ovens have built in air fryers as well as some of the other stuff That's there. smart. So maybe, I don't know, I mean... I'm trying to hold out because they're not a cheap date. Yeah, to get a good one that fits the decor and all that, so you're looking at three, four thousand oh, dollars. But no. it's funny they have they have the air fryers built in, which would be kind of cool. They have that option well, as well as some other stuff there with the oven. Be good. So, do you prefer uh, an air air fryer or air oven or a confection? See, I it, like all three of them. This has all three. Have this you is, all three? They all have unique redeeming qualities. They to do all of them. <laughs> This one we saw had like two different compartments, to your point, Mike. So you could do convection on one and air fryer on the other. It's like, take Mm -hmm. it easy. It's like NASA Mm -hmm. to go, you know, make a grilled cheese sandwich. If you do get one of these, if you do get one of these ranges, Pete, a new one, are you going to get one of those Viking ones? Okay. Have you been hanging out with Chef? Well, listen, I mean, you you, you, you met Michelle. That is my dream. Not Viking. It would be the next wolf, I think, is the next one down. You know, it's not bad. You go go, go from Viking to pirate, I believe, is what it is. We're not (laughs) going, right. We're not going Maytag, you know, or GE, because they do bring things, good things to life. There was a Samsung. I don't know. You go nuts. You know that place apt over here? You walk in, you get lost. I, I could, I would love to just go crazy with, on kitchen appliances and things could, for a This kitchen. place you would go nuts, Sam. We, we went on Sunday afternoon before the race started. When oh, I got done with the fantasy show, we had like fine. an hour and a half. You walk around, you have a cup of coffee, you look at stuff that you can't afford, and it's all about inspiration. So that's what we did on Sunday. So yesterday, pretty monumental day here in Chicago. Uh, someone who I felt made a big impact in the city will no longer be in the city. Of course, I'm speaking of Patrick Kane of the Chicago Blackhawks, who got traded to the New York Rangers yesterday. So the run of Stanley Cups has ended here. A long time ago, and uh, Kaner now a New York Ranger, and we have one guy left, Jonathan Taves, from that team that won three Stanley Cups over the, like ten dec- ten uh, ten years there. So you take a light foot with him? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Somebody else is leaving town. I forgot. Yeah, we had the mayoral uh, election. Lori Lightfoot, uh, no longer the mayor of Chicago, be a runoff between Paul Vallis and Brandon Johnson to see who is the new mayor. And I'll get ahead of this because I had people asking me last night, "Well, what does this mean for the Chicago Street Circuit race?" Right. The NASCAR contract is with the city of Chicago, not Lori Lightfoot, right? So whoever the mayor is is going to you know, have to live by the contract that was signed so that race is happening. It's not going anywhere. There'll just be a new mayor out there probably not about giving the command, but certainly canvassing the area when you guys get down here to Grand Park. Brandon, can you help me here? <laughs> Speaking of giving the command, did you see the note where Bryce Harper is going to be giving the command for Las Vegas? Did you hear what he did last week? Now, again, I'm, I'm, I'm reading there, – there are a couple different social media sites that were reporting this. So I guess a kid came up to him in the airport and wanted his autograph, but he had a marker, and the marker wouldn't write on whatever it was. And so Bryce had a ballpoint pen where he didn't have anything to write on, so he took one of his shoes off, and he signed his shoe and gave the kid one of his shoes, and he walks on the airplane with one shoe. Really? See that? that's something. Top that, he's, Joey Logano. Good thing he signed the autograph, or the kid would have thrown all his Bryce Harper stuff in the garbage, and then who knows where that story would have gone. <laughs> but right, I, if you missed that, that's the behind-the-scenes story stuff. that Joey gave us on Behind the Show yesterday. That was Check great. Check it out on the SXM app. It was actually there, – there was a driver that Joey became scorned at because that driver wouldn't stop and sign, his, uh, sign an autograph for him when he was a youngster. I believe he said at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And, uh, well, <laughs> just go listen to the story. Because it's amazing how things just went full circle on that whole situation. That one, that one was dripping with irony the way it all turned out. That's for sure. Man, that was a great story yesterday from Joey. And that driver, that stiff Joey for the autograph, didn't even know it until Joey let it loose yesterday on our air. So mm-hmm. there's a little fun he knows it now. scoop that we got there. Oh, I'm sure he already knows it, yes. Oh, I would hey. certainly welcome the rebuttal, wouldn't you, if the, the said driver would like to stop by TMD, give his side of the story? We'd love that. That'd be great. Come on by. He's a busy he guy. Probably doesn't, he probably doesn't even remember he did it. He's got, it's well, so I'm, sh- I'm sure he doesn't remember he did it, but the fact that it got called out on national radio yesterday, he's a busy guy. He's been in a lot of things. He's doing a lot of things right now. He is. Um, um, what else what we got else, here? Let's, you, you mentioned Bryce Harper. We got spring training going on. We got the uh, basketball tournaments going on. This is it quiet now in Philly, though, since you know the end of the runs came for the Eagles and the Phillies, is there Philly talk there since they went to the World Series last year? Are you hearing it? The 
Well, what we're talking about now is the union. Uh, the union just started soccer over the weekend. Okay. By the way, the opening night game, 33 degrees in Chester. It was so crisp out there. New uniforms. I guess they get new uniforms. So they're all Kits. soccer is the buzz now. They, they have gotten away from football chat, and it's still too early to start talking baseball. Deuces was down at spring training, and, you know, it's – you know how spring training is. It, it yeah. just goes on and on and on. It's like, all right, let me know when yeah. the middle of April gets here and we'll mm-hmm. go. Yeah. But, April, May, March 31st is opening day, early this year. So mm-hmm. it's right around the corner I think here. the home opener in Philly is until like the 6th or 7th. Oh. Like, I think we start on the road. I think it is. Cubs are at home on squad. Friday. That we. We start we, on the He's road. back on the, the area. We back uh, up. here. I mean, I'm <laughs> you and not Tony, Baltimore. You the and Stewart. <laughs> Which, by the way, you know what? The Orioles, I love you, but they took the sun sign down in, in the outfield. I saw that. That's a legendary bu- – that, 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 that's like taking the Sitco sign down in left field at uh, Fenway Park. Got the uh, dollies at, at the beach. Now you got the, the sun what sign is going, going down. On? Yeah, that's what that, – that was there when Camden Yards was built, I guess, right? And now it's gone. It's it was the best. Memorial Stadium, too, I think, yeah. or version of it back in the day. Camden hmm. Yards, the best baseball park I've ever been to. I, I, life, it's a, I lament every time somebody says that, Sammy, that I've not been there because I really would like Absolutely. to go. There. Come on down. Absolutely a wonderful place. And then you've got, what do they do? They, they do the hot dog race. Is that what it is? It's a hot dog race? Or well, like the so- they let sausages run or something like that, too. Oh, well, sausages at Milwaukee. Eckridge hot yeah. dogs. Yeah. There's something. Yes. That, they do something yes. good like that, too. And the, not yeah. like the running of the presidents that the Nationals do, which is always yeah. a very good one, too. You know, speaking, of, speaking of games real quick, I don't know what's going on in the world of sports with animals. Did you see last night at the uh, – Davey sent us this, the uh, Louisville basketball yes. game? They had a dog come on to, to do a halftime performance, and the dog decided to relieve himself on the basketball court. Relieve how? Number two. No, number two. No. <laughs> doing it for doing it for Brad. I know, doing it for uh, for Austin. Yep, number two right there. No. Mm-hmm. So Bad dog. He, and the other thing, did you guys see the Parrots attack the college baseball game over the weekend? No. So it was somebody in Bradley uh, where the team's playing, and I think it was in Florida. All of a sudden, these wild parrots come and start flying around the field, land on the field, landed on the umpire's shoulder as he's crouched over strike, the Strike, strike. <laughs> ball. What? <laughs> You're out of here, jerk. Probably want a balker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these parrots Fine. Att- <laughs> they attacked. Maybe it was like the parrot in Aladdin. Gilbert Gottfried. I don't do a good... Well, I do, but it's too Dude, dude that's why I was trying to see you It's too up. early in the morning to do Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> Wait, first he station. did a parrot and a goose? Because he, he was the voice of the Aflac commercials. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, that's, a, that's a, a duck. He a parrot and a goose. That's a duck, actually. The Aflac duck, not a goose. That's a duck. Don't get your waterfowls okay. mixed well, whatever. up. whatever. <laughs> Tori almost killed a goose on the golf course on Sunday. She, uh, yeah, That's seriously, good. she. There was a. Ball. They were sitting. They were sitting on the green. It was. They were sitting on the green. She was. It was They're a par invasive. three. Yeah. And I said, I said, hey, just let it go. And she thought she hit it because they kind of moved its wings up, and she mm-hmm. was about to cry. I think because she thought she killed this goose, but luckily she didn't. It's a big mess as they come in turn number one. I had to put around a lot of when, poop on that green though. When you drive in to my <laughs> development. The we geese. have geese that just meander back and forth. Well, this one lady, I, I was coming in to the development, and there's about 12 of them, 13 of them out there that are just waddling across the street. Well, the lady in front of me, you would have thought that she was getting ready to within you know 50 feet, mm-hmm. that if she were to get within that boundary of a goose, she's going to jail for life. It's like Whoa! she locked it down. Mm-hmm. She's got us all jammed up, right? And I'm like, look, okay, just go. When you get near them, they'll move, right? They're not going to just sit there and be like, yeah, run me over, see, yeah. No, they're, they will I'll move. collect the insurance. Edward so Goose Robinson. I, <laughs> so what do I do? I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? I got to get home. I come flying around her, and I go charging off into the geese, and the geese start flying away. <laughs> like, that's how you clear the road. You don't mm-hmm. lock it down. Because then they started to sit in the road. Uh, well, my do. God, we'll be there all day. <laughs> right. I mean, her, I've, I've, I've heard of sitting cattle and never squatting waterfowl in the middle of the street. Come on. Let's go. So I go charging all through. They flew away, and she's probably still sitting out there. And the one, glu- one goose that flew away from you probably ran into the scoreboard at the Tiger Stadium, like the one did a year ago. Oh. Oh, oh, Comerica that Park. That goose. Oh. It's a gaggle of geese, just a heads up. Gaggle. It's a gaggle of geese, yes, correct. What was the goose loose? <laughs> you should have had a goose and juice with the goose. Okay, bottom of the hour. We got headline check number one coming up. 
Uh, Eric Jacuzzi joined us yesterday here on uh, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio to go over the new package, you could say, for uh, tracks a little over a mile and under, but not all of them, but road courses too. We'll connect all those dots coming up. They've made adjustments to the race car to make that racing situation better. We'll, we'll take you back and let you hear from Eric Jacuzzi about why they're doing it, what they're doing, and how it's going to impact things going forward. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll get reaction from Brian Wilson on those changes. Plus, we'll chat with Brian about his visit out to the Inland Empire and what he expects in Las Vegas this weekend. Brian is the crew chief for Harrison Burton in the number 21 Ford Mustang at Wood Brothers Racing. Got Pistol Pete's power rankings coming up this morning. Got the calendar. Daniel Dye of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Daniel's going to join us at 930. John Hunter Nemechek, your Xfinity Series winner from Sunday night in Fontana. He'll join us at 10 a.m. in the East as well. We are so glad you are with us here on this Wednesday morning, March 1st, 2023. TMD is brought to you in part by our friends at Indeed. Spring into hiring at Indeed.com slash credit. 